Every team could use a player like Keon. No, he's not a star, and stars get all the love in the NBA. But I wanted to shed some light on a role player. A role player who wasn't drafted and was overlooked by every team, which makes his story even more incredible. What he did last year was one of the best stories of the year. Let's take a deeper dive. Keon shot about 42% from three last year. The degree of difficulty for his shots aren't the highest, but that's perfectly fine for the Kings. He's the 3 and D player they needed, especially when Keegan and Herder regressed shooting-wise for the Kings last year. He has a nice compact form and he shoots with confidence. When Darren Fox got injured early last year, it wasn't Davion Mitchell who played point guard for the Kings, it was Ellis, which was surprising to a lot of Kings fans until he showed what he could do. He's no pick and roll savant, but he was able to make the simple read. This play is from his first game starting for Fox, and let's take a look at how accurate this pass was. It's right in Keegan's shooting pocket. Here, Keon is patiently waiting for SGA to pick which side he's going to go over the Sabonis pick. SGA picks right, and then Keon bursts left. The rest of the defense collapses, and Keegan again is open for the three. On this play, Steph is icing the screen, and Keon takes advantage by driving baseline even though he knows Draymond is there to help. He then jumps, and now Draymond also jumps to block his shot, but Keon drops it off to Sabonis for the easy bucket. Watching all of this in slow motion might make it look easy, but in real time you have to process all of these micro decisions very quickly. Keon is what I like to call a connector on offense. He doesn't need the ball in his hands to be effective. Here he makes a pass to Monk, but he has to throw this pass at the perfect height in order for Giannis not to tip it, who was about 3 inches from doing so. Here Keon uses a pass fake to get Kaminga up in the air, then it's an easy drive and alley-oop to Sabonis. He's so good at driving and kicking the ball out, or dropping it off to the big when defenders are closing out on him. Again, this is why he's a great connector. He's smart with his passes, and he's good at mapping out the floor. Now let's talk about his defense. He's straight up just annoying to play against. Hare Beal is trying to go behind the back, but look how quickly Keon is able to open up his hips. In two steps, he's already in a better position, and he's able to come up with the steal. On this play, Dame crosses Keon over, but again, Keon opens his hips so quickly, and he's able to block Dame's shot even before he can get any lift off the ground. In my opinion, we're talking about first or second team all defense level talent here. And it's not just because of his athleticism, it's also because of his intelligence. On this play, the Kings look toast. Mikel has gotten deep in the paint, and Barnes has to come help. Finney Smith and Dinwiddie both look open at this point. However, Dinwiddie seems a little bit more open since Keon is closer to Finney Smith. But Keon is in the perfect spot, so even when Mikel opts to pass the ball to Dinwiddie, it's still a steal for Keon. He's good at making passing lanes look open when they really aren't. Keon has a 6 foot 8 wingspan, and he does a great job of blocking shots. He also knows the right time to come and double. It's a skill to double before the ball handler realizes that a second defender is coming. Like here, Wagner looks down at his dribble and Keon pounces. And here, Ingram thinks he's open since he made a move to get some space from Keegan, but Keon is there to help. And same thing here with Kaminga. Kaminga doesn't see him coming and he gets the block. I hope you guys can appreciate Keon more after watching this. The Kings would have been a lot worse without him. I believe that the Kings should start him this season, and it'll be interesting to see if they agree. Regardless, he's going to be difficult for them to keep off the floor. He simply makes too many winning plays, and he is too damn fun to watch. Please subscribe and check out this video I made on two rookie bigs to keep an eye on during the season. Peace.